everybody Ann here just sitting here in the tiny house having my coffee with all of you I'm not on my porch because it is already scorching hot out there it feels like it's a hundred degrees it really does so I'm here at the back of the cabin and you know what where it's all insulated it feels better it's shady back here and I've got the front windows uh, covered with the little curtain thingies to keep the sun out and it does keep it a little bit cooler in here I've got the big yellow fan well it's kind of like this big um, it's circulating all the time I've got little USB fans in each of the three windows and it's keeping air circulating it's still warm in here but it's tolerable it's gonna get a lot hotter so in a little bit I'm gonna have to go out in the shade but I promised you that I was gonna show you a few things yesterday and I didn't get to them so I'm gonna show them to you today the fermenting vegetables are doing great the sauerkraut I made a big thing of sauerkraut and that's doing great too um, and I did some things to the potatoes and oh there is a huge update a huge update on the peppermint here are my beautiful fermenting jars of vegetables. Things are going exactly as they need to. They are bubbling just a tiny bit. So tomorrow I think I may taste them. And here is my beautiful big one gallon jar of sauerkraut. And I had to kind of modify one of those lids um, so that I could stick one of those down in it because the regular lids are too small. Um, but yeah, so I ended up putting it in this little tub thingy because sometimes it bubbles over and there's the wine. The wine is doing just great too. Would you look at that peppermint? Oh my goodness, it's like overnight and it grew. Lies. That peppermint came from Mr. Lucas. He went over to his peppermint patch and dug up two big clumps of peppermint and one I planted in this bucket. I pulled out something else that wasn't growing and figured, you know what, I'm going to grow me some peppermint up on my porch. So that's there. And then I just planted the other one over there. So that's pretty awesome. Whew. Well, I did just come back from Mr. Lucas. He uh, let me have a, have a ton of water. I'm so exhausted right now and it's so hot outside. Whew. I need to just stop. Um, oh my goodness. Look at this. What's this? Ho ho. <sighs> I'm going to go to the porch and have some ice water. All my plants are watered. They don't look any different than they did the last time. Phew, I showed them to you, so i got to go cool off because I am overheating. It is still so hot outside, and you know what? I have not eaten all day except for... A breakfast shake in the morning one of the chocolate breakfast essential ones that are delicious so I'm gonna go out and forage for some food and make something that's gonna be cooked quickly and is tasty and uh, well that I can find on my land at least in part I see some wild lettuce I think I'm just gonna pick some of the new leaves off of this one and that one and bring that in what I'm really looking for, though, has a much wider leaf. They look very similar to these, but they're much wider, and um, they're not as tall. Um, I think they call them woodland lettuce. The, these right here are just cat's ear, uh, cat's ear dandelion greens. So, I don't know. I, I may have picked all of my woodland lettuce, which bumps me out because it's really delicious. Maybe I'll find some out here somewhere. See that right there? That's what I'm looking for. But this is kind of chintzy looking, so I'm going to let this grow a few more leaves before I try and harvest it. This right here is where I harvested from yesterday, and yep, hopefully I'll just get some more. Uh, I'm not going to pick any right now. There's a couple nice leaves growing here. I'm going to go ahead and pick a couple of them. Here's a nice bunch. Yeah, I'm going to take a few of those leaves, definitely. Look at my pretty bouquet. Yep, I got a mixture of both. Uh, mostly cat's ear leaves because I didn't have a lot of, well, I'll show you the difference in a minute. I'm gonna process these and put them in some water and whatnot. So let me go, let me go grab a tote or a tub or a bin, whatever it is you call those things. The ones on the left are cat's ear or dandelion greens. And like I've showed you before, um, you know, these are cat's ear because they've got little prickly 
spines on the back of them. And these are, I guess they call it woodland lettuce or just wild lettuce, whatever. You can tell that there is a difference. Um, these are much whiter and they're not as jaggedy. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it as these. And um, these are delicious. They're a little bit more bitter. These kind of are very, very mild in flavor. These, especially if the leaves are really old, um, get a little bit bitter. So you got to cook them. Uh, cook them right and they'll taste good. Oh, and the le the flowers on these are yellow. They look like dandelions. And the flowers on these are like a purplish color, I guess. Yeah, purplish or something. Um, if I ever get, if they ever get some blooms, I'll show you a picture of them. But I am just going to separate them, kind of tear them up and put them in the water and let them soak for a little bit and then cook them up. I've just been tearing them apart. Different sizes, not uh, rocket science or anything, just Kind of like what you do with regular greens, I guess. And just kind of tossing them around in the water. Here, look at that. Look at how much. There is a ton, but they really, really cook down. I figure why not do this on the rocket stove. Got my cast iron skillet there. Everything's ready to go. The greens are looking good. I'm going to get them out of this water. I'll just drain them off, pour it in the plants. Uh, I've got a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of oil, some pepper, and some garlic. I'm not going to use salt because there's plenty of salt in this canned ham. And some couscous and some water. So, I just need to fire this beautiful thing up right now. And see, I've got one side covered. Ow, I just hit my head. Uh, I've got one side covered because I'm just going to be cooking on this side. While I'm waiting for the couscous to finish cooking, why don't we open up this? Let's see what it is. All right, <laughs> carrot preparation, okay. Oh, oh my goodness. Check this out, you guys. This is a dog harness. It is a Bark Bay Outdoor Pet Harness. All day adventure harness. She's gonna love this, I know she is. I think she's gonna feel more comfortable having this on when she's on her lead than having the, the um, thing around her neck. So I'm gonna put this on her tomorrow, not today. She's acting kind of funny today and I think it's because she's in heat. Um, after she's done with this heat cycle, I'm gonna talk to her vet about getting her fixed. But this is amazing, you guys. I cannot wait. To use this on her it's gonna be safer it's gonna be better for her you know if she goes to to like running she makes these running things where you know she will go after a squirrel or something and then it just jerks her neck I mean very very scary so this is gonna be great um let's see if is there a note in here yes there is let me see <gasps> Enjoy your gift from Kim. Thank you, Kim. I love this so much. I really, really appreciate it. And it means an awful lot to me. So I'm going to get this on her and I will show it to you in a video in a day or two. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> mm, there it is, you guys. Time to plate it up and give it a taste. It looks good. I'm going to give it a taste. I hope it's good.
when I made this something kind of like this before, it was good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. It's good. The couscous. Mmm. Mm -mm. Couscous is done perfect. The um, greens are not... The stems are still kind of crunchy a little bit, but um, the the rest of it is not mushy, and I don't like mushy greens. Mm. Mm hmm. You can taste the uh, vinegar very subtly. Don't add too much vinegar. And a little bit of garlic, a little salt. No, I didn't add salt. A little bit, a uh, little pepper. <laughs> I can't talk. I'm so tired. I'm so hot today. Mm hmm. I bet he's over there licking her lips, but I don't think I'm going to give her any of this just because I'm not sure how well she'll do on these greens. So, it's good, you guys. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me eat. So, you know what? That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.